So, if you saw the last video I put up, you know I talked about Big Hero 6's Fred. Now, if you haven't seen that video, I suggest watching it first, because that episode is the reason why this video is a Valley of Ashes episode. So, this episode begins with uh, one of the main side villains attempting to break out of jail with a giant robot. Big Hero 6 shows up and stops the escape attempt. You may also be wondering, yes, they did change the suit designs for the team. I like them. They're pretty cool. So after the intro sequence, we see our team at a wrestling match. Everyone but Gogo -Go is interested, and Fred starts talking about how he tried to buy the wrestling league, but was outbid by an anonymous bidder. It's Richardson Mole. It's obvious from the second Fred was outbid, uh, the show wouldn't uh, have anyone else buy the league. So Fred is not very happy that Mole bought his favorite sports league. So the wrestling match happens, and it's obvious that Mole is leading when what happens. The wrestler, El Fuego, takes a dive, and after the match, he confronts Mole. If it isn't the best heel in the biz. I'm sick and tired of losing on purpose. Bad guys never win in wrestling. <laughs> at Heroes Ants Cass's diner, Fred vows revenge on Mole, and we see Honey Lemon is back at the wrestling arena. El Fuego is uh, fighting again and forces a win. Mole then fires at El Fuego. Oh, you're fired! Fired? Mole also doesn't know anything about storytelling if he thinks a bad guy never wins. Because having a villain win against a hero early on only to come back and win later is something that's seen quite a lot in media. I'll show the whole world. I just need to find the biggest, baddest, good guy to fight. So we finally see Fred confront Mole. Fred tries to buy out Mole only for Mole to get on Fred's nerves. I only bought it because I knew it would drive you crazy. And to think, at one time, I actually felt sorry for you. Oh good, they acknowledged the episode I talked about last time, so it wasn't forgotten. Yeah, this isn't the line that made me make this episode of Valley of Ashes, but we are getting there. So, while Fred's ruining Mole, we see Hero and Baymax watching the city. El Fuego appears and challenges Baymax, who refuses to fight. Come on, King Buff! Fight back! What do you say now? Expressing anger can be healthy. This is not healthy. Hero encourages Baymax to fight back, but Baymax refuses because... Baymax, just fight back! There is no reason for violence. But he's nothing but junk! So, El Fuego challenges Baymax to meet him the next night and flies off. Back at Hero's garage, we see Hero telling Baymax why he hates what El Fuego said about Baymax. You're not junk. You're one of the most sophisticated robots ever built. You are right, Hero. I am not junk. I know, but I... I can't stand that he thinks he's right. It's not just that he's saying my work is junk. He's saying Tadashi's work is junk. El Fuego's opinion does not diminish Tadashi's achievements. So we see Fred's scheme to get back a mole. It's space robot wrestling. Everyone tells him he's pretty much on his own, and later Fred shows up on Hero's doorstep. Ant Cass learns about mole and gives Fred advice. He does stuff, says stuff. And I get mad. Yes. Sounds like you're letting him win. I, I must destroy him! Or you could ignore him. Go on. Well, if you didn't let him get to you, he'd be losing. And I'd be winning. So I was thinking about this one line for a while, because outside of this one line where Fred chooses to win by not fighting back, this is a good episode. Now, that's not saying that this isn't good advice, because it is, but the reason why this line is bad for the episode is because of the moment at the end of Supersonic Sue. No, Minnie Max. Mole needs those underpants a lot more than I do. He collects to fill a friendship void. I felt bad for the little jerks. It's like my dad says, a real hero helps everyone in need, even his enemies. In that episode, Fred chose to put his anger and hatred for Mole aside because he realized how alone Mole was. Fred chose in that moment to be the bigger man because, and I quote, It's like my dad says, a real hero helps everyone in need, even his enemies. In this episode, Fred has regressed to petty revenge. He gets advice and chooses not to fight back solely to win a petty fight. If he chose to be the bigger man again, this wouldn't be a Valley of Ashes episode. The message is a good one, it's just in the wrong context, and we will get to why. So we see Hero make a Baymax suit so he can fight El Fuego. So Hero goes to fight, and we get a decently choreographed fight scene and some good one-liners from Hero. You are about to need medical attention. You have been a bad boy. You will not get a lollipop. Back at the cafe, we see Cass ask Hero's friends about his whereabouts. I think he had a school project at school. Guys, huh? you won't believe it. El Fuego is wrestling Baymax. Hello. <gasps> Wait, if Baymax is here, Hero! 
So the team runs down to help Hero, and they get there when El Fuego starts destroying Hero's suit. The team doesn't have their suits, and Baymax goes to protect Hero. What are you doing here? Protecting you from injury. I just want to say, I love Baymax. Yeah! Unprovoked aggression is usually a sign of insecurity. Would you like a hug? There, there. So Fred finally shows up and dismantles El Fuego's suit. Yeah! Would you like another hug? No! Everyone, leave me alone! Ah! Right after we get this moment with Fred and Hero. Fred, I wish I'd just let all of El Fuego's taunts go. Like you did with Richardson. You just gotta learn to rise above. Maybe someday I could coach you in the mysterious ways of maturity. Yeah, if I didn't already talk about my feelings on uh, Fred in this episode, I would be saying everything I already said right here. But instead, let's talk about why the moral this episode tries to teach falls apart. Both characters were supposed to learn not to let others get the better of you. Fred chose to win by ignoring Mole. He chose to win. Hero wanted to defend the work of his brother after a jerk called that work garbage. Hero lost control of his emotions, something he has shown before when his brother's involved. The lesson that Hero ends up learning is a very different one than the one Fred learns, i.e. Can't believe I lost control. I know no one can tarnish Tadashi's memory because his work speaks for itself. His work has now become your work. So. In the end, this episode is a mixed bag. It suffers from a jumbled moral, and when you try to teach a moral in any show, messing it up can and will ruin an episode if it's bad enough. This one, under normal circumstances, would be fine. Heck, if it came out before Supersonic Sue, I wouldn't even have called it a Valley of Ashes episode. The only reason why it gets that title is because of when it came out, and how they tried to paint Hero and Fred's lessons as one and the same. Fred's lesson was one born from a long-standing rivalry of two people trying to one-up another. Heroes was born of a brother wanting to protect his brother's work from being tarnished. Changing that much can widely affect the episode. Anyway, this episode is at least 7 out of 10 material. Yes, I know, a Valley Vashes episode with a 7 out of 10 rating. Just remember, this series is about seeing what goes wrong in episodes and trying to figure out ways to fix them. Good and bad episodes are eligible for this and I'll just end up with more bad episodes because they're easier to find. Hey guys, just a quick reminder, if you want to support this channel, the best way is to subscribe and like the video. Also, if you want to see me review something, leave your suggestions in the comments below, and if you want to see each episode early, I have a Patreon, and it's only $1 a month to get everything early. Thanks for watching.